Judgment day for a man who admits he's to blame for a toddler dying in a hot daycare van. It was an emotional day as the man took responsibility and finally told that child's mother what she's been waiting to hear for years. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has the story from Miami. But I forgive you, though. It's hard for me to accept it, but I forgive you. Difficult words to say as the mother of 22-month-old Dominique Andrews tells the man responsible for the toddler's death that she forgives him. How do you plead to the charges, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Lilier Perez Hernandez admitted guilt. Investigators say he accidentally left Dominique, known as Papa, to his family, strapped in his car seat inside a steaming hot daycare van four years ago. When he found him at the end of the day, police say he took the child out, placed him on the ground, then helped in the search, telling no one what had happened. I know all of this was a mistake, and we all have made mistakes in our time. The little boy's family spoke at the sentencing. It's been a very difficult four years for them. While they know Perez did not mean to leave the little boy behind, they've been waiting for a simple apology. But we never got told that, and I know it was an accident. You know, and I hate that it had to come to this, but he needs to feel what we feel. Well, all I ever wanted was, I'm sorry. I don't believe in consequences of giving people life sentence. Perez's attorney said he advised his client not to say anything for legal reasons until now. There really are no words for uh, me to express that would uh, bring back what had happened. All I can say is I'm very sorry. And just as they have suffered, I have suffered quite a bit. I've not ever been the same person again. Sir, um, you are going to be held accountable today for your actions, understanding that this was not an intentional act. With that, he was sentenced to six months in county jail and seven years probation. The judge is allowing Pettis some time to get his affairs in order. He'll report to the county jail in about a month. In Miami, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.